Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Todoist app effectively. So this is going to be a beginner's guide. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to start using Todoist here effectively, what we need to do first is we need to go to their official website, which is todoist.com. Now, in their website, what we need to do is we need to create our account. So the great thing about this platform is it actually allows you to create your account for free. So you can start it for free. So in their website, go ahead and click on the start for free button at the top right here. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to create our account. So you, you can manually create your account by entering an email and your password here, but you could also continue, continue creating your account via your Google account, your Facebook account, or even your Apple account. But in this case, it's going to choose Google account here. So we, since we want to use our Google account, let's go and choose our Google account here, click on continue. And once you've done that, we should be able to create our account in Todoist. Now, in this case, let's just wait for it to fully load it up. Now, it's going to ask you some details about yourself. So let's just say it is going to be my name here. And you could go ahead and enable the I want to use Todoist with my team if you want to include team members or friends into your to-do list. Now, let's go ahead and click on continue here. Now, what do you plan to use to do it? So in this case, I'll be using for it for personal, but you can either select work or education. Let's go ahead and click on launch to do this. Now, in this case, how do we start using to do this? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is we need to understand how to do this is actually structured. Now, to do this actually has different projects and different tasks that you could actually use or basically uh, adjust a few things. So in this case, by default, it's going to redirect me to today, which is the current task that I need to do for today. So we have the download to do this in all devices if you want to. So you can download it in your laptop or in your phone if you want to. But in this case, how do we start using it? Now, in this case, we first need to understand the left side here. We have the search option, which allows us to start searching for certain projects or navigate to certain areas in our project here, or even search for different projects here. As an example, I'm just going to type in home here. And as you can see, home is part of our project. So you can immediately go in there. So anything that you want to search for in your account, this is how you exactly do it. Now, I also have the inbox here, which in this case contains different um, inbox or notifications that you might want to uh, actually read. Like for example, if there are upcoming tasks in here or your current tasks uh, today, this is where you'll be, you'll, be, you, you'll be informed of what you need to do. Now, we also have the today section here, which in this case includes all the tasks that we need to do today. We also have the upcoming task, which in this case, the tasks that you need to do on the later date. So in this case, they are uh, organized in a way which in this case, it's going to be on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or depending on what you select in here. So you also have the option to change the month here, as you can see right now, and basically choose a specific month if you want to view the tasks that you have for that. Also have the filters and labels here, which in this case allows you to view different tasks that was actually uh, categorized in different things. Like for example, uh, anything that is tagged as priority one or anything that is uh, tagged as assigned to you or even labels or uh, in this case that task that has the read label on it. Now, projects is a great way for you to organize or group your different tasks together. So basically, think of task as a way for you to organize your task. So for example, if you're doing a specific project, well, in this case, you could go ahead and just create a new one or in this case, uh, create a new project for you. But yeah, so in this case, uh, let's go and start create our first task here. So let's go ahead and go to our uh, top section here and you want to click on the add task at the top left. Now you could also key, uh, press on Q to basically create your own task. So for example, there's going to be a sample task. And from here, we want to add a description. So the description for this task is going to be sample description. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to assign a few things. Like for example, when is the due date for this one? So let's just say the due date for this one is going to be around on Monday next week. Now, the priority is going to be priority three here. Now, you could go and set your reminders if you want to, like for example, before task or any specific date or time. But in order for you to use or access some of the advanced features here for Todoist, you need to upgrade your plan in order for you to use it. Now, you also have the tree dot icon here, which includes the more actions. In this case, you could add labels or 
add locations or even add extensions if you want to, which is the more advanced option here. Because any capabilities that Todoist cannot do or perform for you, you need to download or add an extension for that. But for now, let's go and add a label. And let's just say this is going to be a sample label. So we'll be viewing this later on. Now, in this case, once you've done that, you can go ahead and press on the uh, option or enter here. And in this case, as you can see, we now have the sample label. Now you could add this to a specific project. So, and you can add this to home, to routines or inspiration since we have sub uh, sections of our home. Let's go ahead and add this into our home here. And from here, we wanna go and click on add task. Now, in this case, whenever we go to inbox, as you can see, we don't see anything, but when we go to home here, we have our task, which is now on Monday and has a sample label here. Now, in this case, you could actually uh, reposition a few things here. As you can see right now, we have different sections for our project. So you could add another task within just home, but you could actually add them within other routines or even add them as subtask. As you see right now, we have a task here that we already that is already existing. You could actually drag it just beneath that task. As you can see, it is now a subtask that you need to do first before you can complete that specific task. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and add this outside here. And yeah, so in this case, if you want to add a new section or way for you to basically categorize or organize your task further, you can go and click on add section here and basically just add a name for your section and you should be good. Now, the great thing about the different views in our project series is you can actually change the view by clicking on the view options at the top right. Now, by default, it's going to be list, but you could also choose board as you can see right now. We also have calendar here, but the, again, this is the up the upgrade plan for in order for you to use it. You also have the grouping option here, the sorting, the filters if you want to. Now, as you can see, if you want to add a new section like what we did before, just click on add section here. So the great thing about this view here, it actually gives you or allows you to customize what or how you want to actually organize your, uh, your projects or your task here. So in this case, some people would find lists or board a lot helpful for them. So depending on what you want to, uh, how you want to view it, you should be able to choose one in here. Now, if you want to create a new project, you go and click on the project or plus project menu here and basically add a new project here. So projects are pretty straightforward. So like what I said before, they will contain your task, which is a great way for you to organize your uh, task. Now, the great thing about this one as well is you could actually create a temp or use a create a project through a, the use of uh, templates, which in this case allows you to choose like, for example, if you want to create a project tracker here a meal planning or a weekly review. So for example, I'm going to choose a project tracker here. It's going to give you some information here and some of the samples that you'll be see here. But for now, let's go ahead and copy to my projects. And from here, that should add that into our account. So let's just wait for it. So we now have our project tracker. Now, as you can see, we have different sections here. So in this case, how do you use templates, dates and resources, project admin. So in this case, using templates is a great way for you to basically organize your thoughts on how, or in this case, uh, really rapidly create your own uh, tracker here. Now you could choose board here. As you can see, there's going to be a lot. So depending on how you want to view your different um, uh, task here. But yeah, so just to give you some example, let's go ahead and go to filters and labels. And I want to show you what we just did. So in this case, so we have our sample label that we just recently created, as you can see right now. So we have our sample label already created here. Let's go ahead and go back. So we have the priority one here since we haven't added any priority. Now let's go back to home here. Let's go and select our task here. And we could go ahead and select other priority here if you want to. So since we want to set this to priority one, let's go ahead and select that. Uh, set that up and from here you have the option to close this now, now in this case since we already created one we have the additional options to duplicate this you can copy a link to a task here add comments via email or view task activity print or even add extension so there are further things that you can do here as well so let's go ahead and go back go to filters and labels here and when we go to our priority one it is now added in here so yeah so in this case, uh, using it is actually pretty easy. There's a visual section for notifications or even hiding the left panel here if you want to. Now, if you want to change a few things about your account, you can go and click on your name at the top left here. Go to settings or you can even create a team here if you want to share your task with team members or your group, pro, uh, group members. You also have activity logs, uh, resources if you want to learn more about the platform and what's new, what are the updates right now. 
So from here on, I think you should be good. So these are the basics and uh, some of the effective things that you could do here to properly use uh, to do this here. So that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.